All right, bro. So what did you think about that ghosted movie, the one with Captain America? Oh, oh, yeah, ghosted. Yeah. All right, so what I will say in the beginning, it started off pretty good. That's what I thought so, too. I mean, listen, it's a movie, Chris Evans and a hot chick. You're thinking, oh, what could go wrong? He can't. You you can't. You can't go wrong. Yeah. He like leaves it. I remember he had a shop, and then he's like, "Hey, can you watch my shop? I gotta go <laughs> bang this girl." <laughs> um. So then he goes and I don't know, man. And the movie was just like we watched it together. Yeah. So it was kind of what? What's the word we can use today? Fruity. Fruity. I, it's not one you're gonna want to watch with the homies, all right? No, that's just that's just where we're gonna leave that for sure. <laughs> what about you? Were you? How are you feeling about it? Did you like it or? I thought. Well, we only got ten minutes in. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we only got ten minutes in. I I liked the beginning of it, but it it did get a little a little too fruity to watch. Yeah, with I remember. You. I was just we were just watching it, and uh, it got to this scene and. Right when she opened the door and uh, let him in, I just, okay, yeah, okay, that's kind of weird. Can't watch this with the homie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stop here. Yeah, it's a, it's a more of a, you watch it with your girlfriend or you watch it by yourself. It's a, rom- it's a rom-com. Yeah, I'm not trying to, <coughs> I'm trying to have a sausage fest, all right? right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no sausage party here. Nope. Sausage party two. Sausage party two. two. Did I tell you about the opportunity that I'm getting to do at work? Well, most it's most likely going to happen unless they like change their minds like last minute. Okay. I don't think you did. So, for work, and I I, I don't think I'm going to specify the type of work that I do. Right. No, there's no point. But uh, my work is going to send me and my brother up to Detroit. Oh, there you go. That's cool. It's going to be it's going to be my first like first time. That's going to be the farthest north I've ever gone. Yeah, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> it, oh, dude! It'll be a little chilly. Dress warm. I'm expecting it, um, cause y- uh, you used to live up by one of the Great Lakes. Uh, yeah, Minnesota. How, I I've only been to I've only been to Chicago, so I've only got to, and it was really warm when I went. Right. So I, as you can expect, like I think like the highest 
on one of the days was around 90. Okay, there you go. So, yeah. Uh, can like, I don't know. Can you give me some? I, I'm looking for things to do right. in Detroit because I'm going up there to work. Uh, I'm going to be gone for about a week. Yeah. So uh, I think in Sunday to Friday. Uh, can you pull up? Here. One moment. Can you pull up uh, uh, Detroit the mic. to Lawrence? Fade into the mic so they can hear oh. so we don't yeah. blank it out. Uh, can you pull up, producer, uh, how long it takes from Detroit from our home? But farthest north I've ever been is Chicago, and I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, so I, I've i been to Minnesota, and we went in July. Mm-hmm. So it was the middle of the summer. And I remember everywhere we went, it was like 80, 85 degrees the whole time. The whole time. And then we, we decided that we were going to go see Lake Superior, which is the lake that we were closest to at it, the time. It, by the way, that's the biggest uh, body of water in North America. It is. Yeah, it's beautiful, too. It's it's awesome. But we, we decided we were going to go check out Lake Superior, and when we got to the lake, it automatically dropped down to like 30 degrees. Really? Wait, from, you said it was like 85? 80 to 85 degrees, and then you get to the lake, and it feels like 30. Whoa. It got cold. I mean, we were wearing shorts and t-shirts, doing just fine. We went to the lake, and we needed sweatpants and a hoodie. Damn, dude. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of nervous, and thank you, for producer, for pulling up the length. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a that's gonna be a tough car ride. How far is it? Um, uh, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be around close to like eight hundred miles. Jeez, that's how far we gotta like go. Oh crap! I got and, you. Uh, it's I don't know. I'm not ready for a ride that long. The longest ride I've ever done was from uh was from Florida home, and it was. Oh, dude, it was fucking, uh, almost it, almost a whole day, right? But I was in a van with my family. Mm-hmm. I was in one of the back seats, so I had no problem. I'd be sitting in a stiff ass front seat in a van, right? In a transit. Can you even recline in a transit? They do, but not, <laughs> but not much. I uh, I took some transits to uh, Colorado. Yep, yeah, to Colorado. Yeah, I took some to Colorado uh, a couple summers ago for for a job. And, uh, yeah, they're not comfortable. They are not. If you oh, get in dude. the back, the seats are stiff. Very, very stiff. Very, very uncomfortable. But if you get your own row, I just laid down in it. It was pretty cool. Um, but the driver's seat and the passenger seat are not comfortable. And they do recline, but not much. And the thing about our transit vans, though, is they're only the front seat. The rest is the... That's right. It's the... Uh, what what would that model be called? The like the the packing the, the it's hall? literally just a transit. They just take the back seats out. Yeah, it's one of those. So it's gonna be brutal. And it's a uh, we got a Mercedes and we have a Ram. Is your brother driving? No, no. So he is not. are you guys not riding together on the way there then? No, we are not. That's gonna be the bad part. That's awful. So, so listen to this. We're going with three. Uh, older men, I think all three of them are <laughs> definitely above 40. Um, gotcha, gotcha. We, so, my brother and I are gonna most likely be in the transits with, uh, the two transit drivers, of course. Right. Um, and then we're gonna have another dude who is going to be, uh, driving a giant semi-truck. Is he supposed to be the follow vehicle? Follow. Yeah. Yeah, I would say follow vehicle. Because we had a follow vehicle when we went up to Colorado. Uh, we had somebody that made sure that, one, we could get home, and if anything happened, he would be there for it. Well, if on the way home, we're going to have to be the follow vehicle because he, we're going to have, I think it's like close to, we're going to have a shit ton of boxes. Uh, I think we can fit almost, we could probably fit almost 500 in just the semi alone. 500. Boxes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And gotcha. then in the sprinters, we can fit almost a hundred. Right. Yeah. Easily. It's gonna be a long. What I'm I'm not ready for is it's gonna be long days of work. But yeah. As I see, as I see it, it's gonna be a long day of work and it's gonna suck. But I get to walk out and then boom, I get a fucking vacation. I'm on vacation for a whole week. I just have to work half of it. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, like, yeah, you get to experience something new and go somewhere different. 
It'll be fun. It'll definitely be fun. Listen to this, though. It's also paid. Yeah, you're paid the whole time, I'm sure. Dude. So nice. Yeah, dude, that's going to be a nice paycheck when you come home. Cause I, like I said, I'm kind of nervous because I don't know what there is to do in Detroit. What am I going to do with my spare time? Well, thankfully, I think weed's legal there, too, so... Uh, weed is legal there. I was thinking of hitting up one of the dispensaries. The producer put a big fat nothing for to do anything in Detroit. But yeah. what I want to do is I want to find something involving cars. Right. Because if you if anybody thinks about Detroit, I think the only thing they're going to think about is cars. Nothing. Besides Not nothing. Thing. It's cars. Ford, GM, Dodge. That's where they are. That's Amer- That's the home of uh, America's cars. Right. I don't know. I just want to like visit one of the factories or something. Go to the factory. I mean, I don't know exactly where they are, but I know that I don't think you're going to be able to get an Uber out there. Probably not. Probably and not. They won't let us take the fucking work vans right. to go cruise <laughs> just whip it whipping shitties in the <laughs> booze cruise whipping shitties in the transit but uh, dude i wish but they didn't want both of us to drive the transits for a reason that's a good point um, i'd be racing them me and my me and my brother and my uncle tried to race to denver <laughs> <laughs> yeah see okay that's in denver but think about detroit think about if we lined them up in detroit one well it's detroit i don't have to explain anything about it you already know. Cops will be all over the place. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like they got nothing better to do. Right. Uh, especially, uh, we were talking about going to 8 Mile. But I think that's just a joke. That's just a joke. <laughs> I would do it. My knees weak, arms are heavy. <gasps> oh, that's right. Ma. <laughs> oh, can you search that up? What oh, is it? Ma- Eminem's restaurant, Mom's right? Spaghetti. Dang. Oh. That's a good option, bro. I didn't even think about that. Turtle race. Anyway. Turt moms. I was thinking that for the uh, transit racing. Turt mom specs. The transit racing would be turtles A racing. Turt mom specs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, I'm just, I'm nervous. Because I've never been that far up north. And is it still open? It is. Yeah, what did they have? We are on mom spaghetti right now. Eminem's, uh. Spaghetti restaurant. Let me see the menu. Nine dollars for spaghetti. Are you nuts? Look, go back dude? up to the menu. Go With meatballs, it's twelve. Hey, but that's look at, crazy. Look at that though. They got a sp- a spaghetti bolognese sandwich. What the spaghetti? Fu- what the what fuck is that? The f- a bolo- you can just get a bologna sandwich. You're gonna spend twelve dollars for a bologna sandwich. Well, and I'm- why are the drink options Pepsi, Diet, Diet Pepsi, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and water? Water. Why- what? Water. What- uh. Well, uh, Why, uh, <laughs> well, you uh, here's another cool thing. So we're getting paid, and we're getting paid more because, of course, we're traveling. Right. We're gonna be getting like forty dollars a day just for like food. So d- I could literally just go to Mom's Spaghetti and get a whole fucking get dinner and leftovers for when you're hungry the yes. next day. Like, and that spaghetti looks good, bro. It's gotta be good. He made a whole ass rest. No. No, the producer says that oh. it's Chinese spaghetti. <laughs> Chinese spaghetti. <laughs> no. Yep. Just spaghetti in a small yeah. Chinese container. I remember it all container. over TikTok. Yeah, it was all over every social media, especially TikTok. And it's not even that good. That's crazy. I, the meatballs look like they're flat, and it looks like it comes... Texas toast oh, yeah. spaghetti. Yeah, oh god, I'd do that anyway. I'd have to get that with meatballs though. Yeah, Texas but Texas toast it meatball like spaghetti. He, yeah, that it looked like he fine. fucking threw like two neat meatballs in that thing though. Yeah, like okay, the at spaghetti that point, looked dry as fuck. Too. Let me get two of those for the price of one, please. Let me actually get a full plate of spaghetti. Let me get a picture of that dry ass spaghetti, please. I'm a, I'm a big boy, bro. I need I need to fucking eat, all right? Yeah, but it looked like guy forgot to like boil the noodles. Shit's dry just as threw fuck, them in some bro. fucking uh just threw them in warm water and then drained them. Yeah, just and then you have to throw some fucking prego on it, but 
Prego? Prego. Like the sauce? Yeah, man. Make your own damn spaghetti. <laughs> You're basically just buying Let the noodles, bro. Let me get the bro. chicken alfredo. The chicken alfredo. Let me get the chicken alfredo. <laughs> chicken alfredo. One thing though is I'm going on a like I'm going on a trip, and I'm going with my brother, and I've never traveled anywhere with him. So at the same time, I think it's going to be awkward because him and I are going to be sharing. As of right now, when we talk to the boss and when my aunt talked to the boss and everything, it seems like we're going to be sharing a room the whole entire time. Which bring I, an Xbox, bring a PlayStation, play games. You'll be fine. Oh, that's the plan. Which I had, I had. Oh, with somebody a touch of my spaghetti. <laughs> so, I don't mind bunking with him sharing a room just because like i said we are brothers and it is gonna save money but it's like i'm gonna be sharing a room with him for a whole week now is this brother or brother-in-law oh this is technically this is brother-in-law okay this is okay, my yeah, sister's that's boyfriend um but we uh, i've known him for a for a good a good time and, and you he had lived too. with you guys for a while didn't he yeah yes he has so i i moved out around when i was uh 18 mm -hmm. and that's kind of when he moved in and then not to look at his about i love him yeah i i love that he's my brother right great dude to my sister great dude great i like him he's great boyfriend yeah he's a great guy he treats her well but how i kind of saw it is that he was kind of my replacement right when i left <laughs> I left and then he came in and it was like, oh, nothing changed. Replaced you quick. Oh, they did. Oh, they did. Replaced you with an extra bedroom too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's that's all fun and jokes. Um, yeah, no, that's cool. Gonna be going with him uh, when I I had to. There was a uh, a situation and I couldn't uh, move back out. You know what? Right. What I mean. You had to go back and chill I, out for a little bit. Yeah, I had to take a year, chill with my mom. Uh, it's weird to say. I know. And uh, my sister and her boyfriend was there. So over the time, uh, I got. To, I'm working with him right now, but I got to work with him then, and then I really got to know the dude, for uh, you know, actually who he was. And it's like, man, like this is somebody. We have almost like the same amount, the same fucking. Uh, What's it called? Uh, comedy, I right, guess. Right, you guys, you guys have the same humor. Humor. We laugh about the same shit. We both watch anime. We both play video games. We both uh, we t uh, like to talk about muscle cars a lot, and we like to gossip a lot about work. Yeah. So you guys will be okay. You'll have plenty to do. I know. I'm out of everybody. I'm just. I'm glad it's him. Right. Yeah. No. Definitely. Speaking of. Not grinder, by the way. I'm not. I'm not that. Um. So. Yeah. I'm just. I'm excited about Detroit. Mm -hmm. And. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean stale? You're stale. He's saying stale. <laughs> We're keeping this. <laughs> I'm cool with it. We're keeping it. A couple seconds of silence after and before, it'll be fine. Hey guys, guess what just came out today? What is it? The brand new 2024 Tacoma. Oh yeah, fucking yeah. Toyota yes, fanboy. Yes, very over here. sexy, very sexy. Yes. Um, so it's completely redesigned for this year. Um, the Tacoma has been the same since 2015. Has not changed. Toyota, right. Toyota, Toyota Nissan tend that. to do that, yeah. where they keep one vehicle. They're like, "Oh, this sells well. We're gonna keep this for the next twelve decades." If it's not broken, we'll yeah, fix it. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, new engine, new every everything's new about it. So, um, base models are coming with a two four turbocharged motor, and you nice. can still get it with a six speed manual transmission. Sick, dude. Yep, keeping the manuals They're alive. Not dead yet? Nope, not yet. Not the, yet. Will be at some point. Sadly. Soon to be. Yeah, but not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, so that comes with a 2.4 turbocharged I-Force motor that makes 278 horsepower and 317 foot-pounds of torque, Sheesh. which is not bad for a little four-cylinder engine. No, not at all. Especially in that truck. It's a very small truck. All right. It is it bigger than last like year. It looks just like the Tundras, bro. It is a miniature Tundra now. That face, dude, I, it's so weird to see that on the face. Yeah, it's, 
It's yeah, literally know, a that tundra. Is a weird, but they redid everything, so they might as well have made it a mini tundra. No, they already did that last year. The yeah, tundra, tundra that looks like this, that's the new tundra. Yeah, the new tundra is just a bigger... They're not... No, they're, they already revamped the tundra, so, so they're not going to revamp the Tacoma. Yeah. So tundra came out earlier last year, and the Sequoia came out later that year. They didn't re fully redesign it yet. But it looks just like this with a little cab on the back, you know, camper shell. Boxy. Does that mean, mean the Forerunner's getting a redesign? The Forerunner is getting a redesign here soon. So it's probably it's gonna, gonna look just like this. It's gonna look like the Tacoma, <laughs> but with a cab on the back. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look like that most likely. Oh, yeah, with a bed cab. Good, though. Everything that good. has an SUV version of it, just put a bed cab on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, but the other new motor is a two point. It's the same two point four liter turbocharged with a hybrid pack on it, making three hundred and twenty six horsepower and four hundred and sixty five foot pounds of torque. Jeez, that's about what a early two thousands full size pickup was making. My truck yeah. factory three hundred twenty five horsepower and three hundred and like forty foot pounds of torque. Jeez, so it is out producing most m- uh, full size trucks from the early two thousands, which that's is crazy, freaking crazy. But this is also the size of an a early 2000s full-size pickup now. Right, I guess so. But it's just crazy how dramatic it is from the TRD just to the SR. Yes. It's very dramatic. What is that, like 50 horsepower, 60 horsepower? Yeah, about. And yeah, it's crazy. And a little over 100 foot-pounds of torque more. That's crazy. Yep. Hybrids are really good at pulling because uh, the torque numbers, of course, that happens. Um, <laughs> hybrids help with that low-end torque. Because you get that off the line go. Right, yeah. The only thing that is kind of a sad thing is you can only get the manual in the lower models with just the turbo motor. So if you want a manual, you're max getting 278 horsepower. No. If you get the hybrid, it's an 8-speed automatic transmission. That's kind of whack, though. So, but yeah, the only, like, if you wanted a TRD, like, top TRD with a manual... The TRD off road is as high as you can go. You cannot get. The you can get the manual though. Yes, you can get this in a manual, but it drops it down to the just the turbo four cylinder. Oh, not the, so you don't get the three the three hundred and twenty six horsepower. No, nope, you get you the two seventy eight. That's so dumb. They. I hate that. Yeah, it's it's not cool, but with a hybrid, it's easier for it being an automatic. Um, it's still an actual like, true automatic it. transmission. I mean, yeah. I, I get it, but, like, come on. You Lexus. could throw a six-speed in there and call it a day. <laughs> or if you want anything to do anything oh. off-road, you would probably want it to be automatic. Right. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I think I'd like to have more control with the manual transmission if I was, like, rock climbing or mudding. Yeah. So, so I last could put it in the selected gear That's instead of yeah. it shifting on its own. That's what I think about when you with the 4x4 or whatever, when they have the... The floor shifter on yes, it, yeah. The floor shifting four by four. But it just puts it in four wheel drive, four high, four low. Yeah. When I think of that's the only thing I think of. Yeah, that's when you yeah. have eight. That's when you have like eight knobs down there. You're yeah. Shifting the manual, you got the transfer case as well. Put it. Think you're putting it in neutral. You put it in four. But with the last generation Tacoma, you could buy a TRD Pro in the manual because they all had the same uh, four li- or three point five liter V six, or the uh, two point seven liter four cylinder. But you mm-hmm. could get all of those in a manual. But since they're switching to a hybrid platform, you cannot get the manual in the TRD Pro. That sucks. Um, there is no prices yet on these. They just dropped today. Right. But you can when get the they red leather camo interior on the what? TRD Pro. Yes. What? Uh, I was actually going to go into that. Um, so they have a whole new seat for the TRD Pro. Um, it's got su- air suspension inside the seat oh that's crazy so it has controllers on the bottom half where you can switch between a four by four or off-roading mode and street mode on just the back of the seats on just the back of the seats is it on the front seats and the rear or just the front just the front too okay that's that's fair yeah the back two don't get that luxury the passengers are just you gotta suck it up and enjoy the bumps <laughs> right the um, suspension will take most of the heat anyway. Exactly. Won't it? Yes, they have some. They have beefed the suspension up for all the models, but um, it's a Tacoma. Yeah, it's still a Tacoma. But um, on these seats, they have air ride suspension, so you can adjust it on both sides okay. for how much 
uh, impact it will take before you feel it. So it's kind of like it's kind of similar to a semi seat where they're on air ride. Yeah. Semi seats have that floating, but you know you sit there and bounce when you're in a semi. Yeah. Floating. These will actually absorb it and set you back straight where you were at. Okay, so it basically it just absorbs the shock. Yeah, it absorbs the shock for you. But yeah, you can get the you got a massive touch screen in here. You got a full um, screen display for your tack and your speedo. It's just overall like crazy from the old last generation. Like right. last and generation felt so old. Right. And it outdated. always does. Yeah, that no, that interior is beautiful with that big ass screen. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they have upgraded the screen. It's like a freaking laptop, yeah, bro. You're oh having my a whole gosh. Ass, you could play Call oh, of Duty. That thing is huge. You could play Call of Duty on that screen. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have to show a picture of that. But yeah, that's nuts, bro. And I couldn't imagine having that screen and driving stick. Oh, yeah, I'd be so <laughs> distracted. I'd be putting Netflix on that fucker. <laughs> right. Be fucking Netflix and chilling in my car, bro. Tasting women. Also my tasting women. Also my tasting women. What the fuck are you on? It's his fucking lock screen, bro. It's a black house and then a colorful house. Hey, leave me alone. Tasting women. My other tasting women. Then it's the... Trash cans. <laughs> Damn right. I like the... Yeah, nope, we're not going with that. Anyways, this is the camo red seats. Oh, that's hot. This dude. is also in the Sequoia and the t or the Tundra. No way. Yeah, you can get the red leather. I would do that. I would get red leather for if it was camo. I would love a Sequoia. Last oh my gosh. last generation, I still love that lime rush green. Yes. That body style, I still want to own one, but they are still way too much money. Tacomas will always hold their value, just like every other Toyota pickup. Yeah. Anything that says Toyota and 4x4 on it is worth a million dollars. What is, what were the last Tacomas going for? The most, the newest ones that have actually been out. What were they going for, at, like new? New, they're uh, a TRD Pro sitting around fifty, like right around fifty thousand, fully loaded. It's like right in the. Did I say Tacoma or Tundra? I thought you said you said Tacoma. I you did say Tundra? Tacoma. No, I meant Tundra. Tacoma. Okay, I was oh, just making yeah. sure we're on the same page. About 50,000. Yeah, 50,000. Jeez, I was thinking you were talking uh, about the Tundra. That's why I said something. No, oh a, my t gosh. A, a TRD Pro Tundra, I'm assuming is in the 70s. I could see that. Uh, 80s, uh, if the highest model, probably. TRD Pro Tundra. It's probably quite expensive. I'm guessing around 70 on Toyota's website. Um. I know the capstone was going for almost eighty. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the capstone is like top package as a as a like a launch edition um, thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what zip code that was, but we're going. With it doesn't it. matter. Nope. <laughs> no, that's sick, bro. We're just gonna go through Toyota's lineup real quick. You know, all the beautiful cars. Oof! Oof! Stop right the there. The GR, GR Corolla. Corolla. Mm, I want it. I could afford that. What? No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yeah, wait until your insurance hits. Wait till, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, my insurance is through the ass anyway. Yeah, no, <laughs> we're good. You can afford this, though. GR Supra. You think so? No. I couldn't afford the... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Anyways. I couldn't afford the monthly. Do you think I could afford the insurance? <laughs> yeah, you could afford the, one or the other, not both at the same time. <laughs> can you finance a new okay. Sequoia? I'm down. Do you pay the monthly, I'll pay the insurance. Yeah, the highest fucking model of fucking Supra. Bet. And yeah, you pay the uh you pay the monthly, I'll pay the insurance. Do you wanna pay a house you wanna pay a house payment for a Sequoia? Oh my god. I do. I would pay that for a Sequoia. Go back up. Right there, eight hundred and eighty dollars a month. That's a lease. Or yeah, that's, that's leasing. If you want to own it, if you want to own it, it is one thousand eighty-five dollars a month. <laughs> no, fuck no. Oh my god, fuck no. Shit's so expensive. Okay. So yeah, we're not looking at much better. That's at seventy-two. Oh! months. that's at seventy-two months. No, no, no. Oh my god, put zero dollars down. Oh my god. Right under a grand. That is at max months. 
Say you put zero down. months, $3,500. That's still $1,000 a month. And your, cre- month your credit is, uh, you just bought a scat pack. Yeah, you're done. You just bought a scat pack, so now you're, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. What about no credit? No credit? Uh, extremely poor scat pack owners. Yeah, you're getting fucked. Extremely poor is not no credit. No credit is good credit. Well, yes, but extremely poor. You just bought a scat pack and want to trade it in because your wife told you no, and then your wife left you and you wanted a tundra. Well, fifteen hundred a month, and you can get a tundra. Owie. Owie. owie Big owie. Indeed. I'm living in that. Yeah, you better live in it. That's more than a f- mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> on a very nice rent, house, bro. That's more than mortgage on a very nice house. Yeah, that's uh that's a pretty penny right there. Yeah, um, no, that's that's ridiculous. I love the new Tundra, but I don't think I love it that much. Yeah, about 80. 3000 miles. That's a TRD on it, Pro. And it's still 79,000. This one's a used SR5, which is a lower end model and it's 57. Low end model 57k with 19,000 miles on it. Starts at 38 grand full fucking shit. No. Oh no fucking That's way. a that's uh before dealer tax and everything. <laughs> yep. Hell no. <laughs> well, when they first came out, it was like COVID was kind of ending, and we we're still in the chip shortage. Right. And so car companies were struggling to produce new cars, and so prices of all new cars shot through the roof. So these were selling right. for like eighty, ninety. That's well, that was. The- yeah, dude. I got my I got mine a couple months after it came out. I spent over twelve hundred dollars on it, and it took like two months to come. Worth it. Worth it. One hundred percent worth it. Absolutely. I'll take it. I'll take it. It hurt, but I'll take it. That's the crazy thing, because um, a lot of the chip manufacturers, since COVID hit, was stopping <coughs> making. Um, they stopped making um, chips for cars because no one was buying cars during COVID. And they shifted all production to consoles. But the time that the Series X and the PS5 released, they were switching back to making cars. Right. And so it hurt the um, console manufacturers. And it also hurt the car manufacturers because a lot of the car chip companies went under. Because right. they couldn't produce chips anymore. And each chip was made in a different location. Not all one place made all the chips. Mm-hmm. So everywhere was hurt and all car companies were hurt. Right. Yeah, yeah. J- uh, Japanese car manufacturers got hit the hardest with the chip uh, problem. Uh, Toyota got hit really hard uh, last year. Um, they had a lot of cars that had push button start, so you got a wireless key fob. Well, Toyota couldn't get the chips for those key fobs, so they're giving you the key with the key fob. So you have the key built onto the fob, right? But it was a push button start car, so you couldn't use the key on the end of it. Could you, couldn't you use the key to get into the doors, though? Yes, into the doors. But if you had a push-button car, you just got a normal little black little fob. Right. It just had only buttons on it, and the key was hidden underneath it. Mm-hmm. But Toyota couldn't get the chips for those, so they had to go back to the little key fobs with the key on the end. Oh, so there's so not push-button anymore? It's still push-button. Oh, it is. But you got a flip key fob. Oh, gotcha. Because they couldn't get the actual chips for the actual just normal fobs. Right. So you had to get a base model key fob. Oh, yeah. damn. <laughs> I don't know if Toyota reimbursed people on that, but... So, speaking of the Tundra and the Tacoma, pricing, uh, quite different. Yeah. We don't know prices of the 2024 Tacoma yet. The car just dropped today, and they don't have prices right. out yet. So, we're looking at the 2023 Tacoma versus the 2023 Tundra prices. Okay. So, a base Tacoma, the SR, is starting at... Twenty eight, twenty five. Well, that's actually not bad at all. Yeah, it's not bad for a. I mean, it's you know you're not getting any luxury features. Right, and you don't even get the full four doors. No, you get a four cylinder with this, non turboed, slow dog. <laughs> dog. A base Tundra is forty grand. Jeez. Forty gur for forty that, grand. That's disgusting. You can buy a limited Tacoma, which is almost a basically a fully loaded Tacoma with street tires. Oh my gosh! For the base price of a Tundra. Yeah, yeah I mean it is kind of the same. Pretty nowadays. close. Yeah. The top package for the Tacoma is forty-seven thousand for a TRD Pro. That is a base TRD Pro. 
Obviously, you can probably spec this out to almost 50. Yeah, probably a little I'm sure. over 50. But for 47K starting out, you can buy an SR5 Tundra, <laughs> which is a step above base. Um, if we keep going down the Tundra line, um, a limited is 52K. Oh, geez. That's disgusting. The 1794, which is basically a King Ranch, is at 63 starting. Platinum no. is 65. And we go Pat, to the TRD Pro, 72 starting. No chance. 72 starting. That's and for not a happening. Top package Tundra, you're looking at around $80,000. Yeah, hard pass. Yeah, nope. that's just, no. That's not even getting floor mats with it if you no. want. That's, that's, that's like you're going to be spending at least $100,000 minimum. $100,000 minimum if you get everything you want on the top package, yeah. Yeah, easily. everything you want plus financing and everything, all said and done, about 100000 probably. Yeah, that's nuts. A hard pass. Toyota Thon. <laughs> Truck month. <laughs> um, yeah, if I had 80 grand laying in my pocket, I'd be buying a TRD Pro Tacoma. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because I can still get it in a manual. Oh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I you can't get would. a Tundra in a manual. Haven't for a long time. Ever, actually. I yeah, think. that's the only reason I'd get a mini truck. Yep. Which aren't very mini anymore. It's the only uh, mini or uh, mid sized pickup you can get in a manual. The Tundras? Or the Tacoma? Yep. Only really? mid-sized truck you can get a manual. Ranger doesn't have it. The what? Nope. I figured out of all of them the Ranger would. Nope. Well, it's our own car brand, so we can just, you can just buy the rights the to the fucking Ford Ranger, like I said originally, and then we would just put the old manual transmission into the newer ones. No, fucking Ford Ranger. I never said Colorado. You, you said, said Colorado. Colorado. He said Ranger. You said yeah. can I? I said you said we're gonna take the Colorado, and I looked you dead in the face. I gave you a couple seconds of silence, and then I said no. I said fucking no. Watch the clip. That's fine. Yeah, watch. Watch the, the damn clip. clip. That's fine. You Chevy loving bitch. If anyone's loving Chevy, it should be me. Anyways, I've owned <laughs> plenty of them. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, if I'm yeah. buying a mid-sized Toyota truck, fanboy, yeah, Toyota fanboy and lover, but uh, can only afford Chevys because <laughs> they're cheap. Um, At least you can afford a Chevy. I can afford Ford. Yeah, exactly. We're <laughs> on the cheap end of the spectrum. This is the expensive end. Toyota's, yeah. Oh, yeah. but you're paying for it. You're getting what you're wanting out of your money. Oh, absolutely. You're getting what you pay for. Yeah, it's it's going to last you a lifetime, and when you go to resell it at 300,000 miles, it's still worth $47,000. <laughs> it's crazy how that works. It's crazy how miles just don't change a damn thing. I do think the Ford Ranger does look good. The Ranger does look good. Uh, the new uh, Colorado just got remodeled as well. Fuck the Colorado. It uh, doesn't look too bad. Ford Ranger. Uh, okay, Ford Ranger it is then. Um, it looks look like a exactly mini Silverado. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. I do same. have a hard on for the Ranger. Exactly the same. <clears throat> anyway, so we were talking about how the Colorado looks exactly the same. It doesn't look it the exact same. It looks exactly the same. No, it doesn't. That's what we were talking about, right? Anyways. I know that's what I'm saying. The Colorado what the fuck looks does he identical. <laughs> they do not. It's exactly oh, the same God thing. God damn you, fuckers! Please, um, it is the exact. It same is thing. not. Look at it. That is, it's the exact same thing. Yep. It, it is the exact same thing. Yeah, Nothing's changed. Identical. We got dude. I Mexico spec, and then we got <laughs> American spec. <laughs> A Mexico spec. <laughs> that's horrible. No, that it looks exactly the same. Um. Sure. Well. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Anyway, yeah, go um, ahead. Tacoma's still the best selling mid size truck on the market. Tacoma's the best mid size um, truck on the market. Fans, <laughs> one that fans have said that might come back, the Dodge Dakota. It may or may not come back. Uh, there's no insight from Dodge yet because Dodge is going through their midlife crisis and going straight to electric vehicles and hybrids. Who is? Dodge. Yeah, I know. Soft. So, the Dakota might come back as a hybrid pickup. No one knows yet. Um, I'm still a Toyota fanboy, so I'm going for the Tacoma if I'm going midsize trucks. I think the Ranger Raptor is really cool. Um, the Ranger Raptor is 
pretty cool. The Ranger um, Raptor is hot. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Um, Look at it in the air. That's sexy. For the sticker price, uh, n- I'm good. It's oh yeah, I'm sure they're pricey. It's a little bit more expensive than a TRD Pro, and you can't get it in a manual. Oh, that's whack. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I mean, they're nice trucks, though. They are nice. Um, they sound really good uh, with an aftermarket exhaust on it. They got a two th- uh, two three turbo four Ooh, cylinder. Hot. They sound four hundred really five horsepower stock. Yes, <laughs> that's the Ranger Raptor. That's, that's nuts. A full top package. Yeah, I guess it's not stock, if you will. Yeah, it's Ford's upgraded version. Right. I think they are really cool. The problem about mid-sized trucks is, though, they're not small anymore. They're the size of early 2000s yeah. full-size pickups, which is crazy. The full-size pickups just got bigger. Mm-hmm. Full-size pickups are massive now. Right. If we were to park one of these next to my 03 Silverado, uh, it's bigger. It's taller. It's not as long. Right. But it's wider. Jeez. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, when I had my uh, 04 uh, Colorado parked next to a brand-new Tacoma, mm-hmm. that truck looks so small the Tacoma is <laughs> You're, so much yeah, bigger so uh, much bigger yeah the uh color your Colorado was small yeah that's when trucks were actually mid-sized before well the sizes just keep growing because people are using trucks as family vehicles now they're not trucks anymore right they're not used they're not, for what they were used yeah, for they're not farm vehicles anymore they are just hey I'm gonna go drive this 800 miles across the country with my family in it all right yeah. and look like a badass and look like a, a badass truck. while i do it yeah maybe no put a couch in the buying for a ranger fun. raptor to do this right there oh no no, no, no nobody's jumping it i would love to do that oh i would too absolutely if but someone gave me the keys to that and told me to go do that yes if somebody day. gave me the keys and said do whatever you want that's the first thing i'm doing yes but uh yeah they don't buy them for this they're all street princesses absolutely they do look really good that does look mean though it looks really 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 good absolutely I'd buy one. Me too. Hey, bro. You remember that one time that we bought the Pontiac, the Grand Prix? The, the it was a couple of years Grand ago. A um, couple of years ago. The black one. Yes. Yes, I do remember it. What a, What about it? You remember going to uh, the back roads and jumping it? I had you in the follow car, obviously, just in case anything went down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I do remember that. Well, okay. I remember I that car kind of seemed a little sketchy to me. So I was like, listen, I'll ride with our friend in the, <laughs> in the follow car yeah. just in case you three ate it. Yeah, killed yeah. yourself somehow. Right. Yeah, so we went and jumped it. I think we caught – I'll see if I can find the videos of it. We'll put it in. But uh, we went and jumped it, and I swear we caught at least two, three feet of air, like, easily. Like, we were in the air for a minute. And yeah. then uh, shortly after that, we pressed it, up, pressed it up against the follow car and roasted the tires. And uh, we did that for, mm-hmm. it's probably like two, three minutes straight, and then backed up, and the ground was smoking. Like, the ground was on fire. Dude, okay, do you remember... Oh, uh, yeah, you... That car was not built for fucking landing either. No. Woo, no, it was thing. not, dude. It ate shit every time it hit the ground. I remember pushing it up, fucking doing the burnout. Oh, uh, dude, I kind of wish... I kind of wish I fucking was there. I really wish I was like there. in the car? In the car. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I do believe that... Me and my brother probably walked out with a little bit of whiplash just because, I mean, we were having so much fun and the adrenaline was there. So, like, I didn't feel it. But the next day I felt it. I think I had a little bit of whiplash from it. I love fucking jumping cars, man. It There's was something so much about fun. Just catching that air and it's like, oh, we're about to land. Oh, yeah. Hard. Oh, yeah. And, you, and if I can find the clips, dude, or if I can find the videos, uh, oh. dude, you could just f- see and f- you can almost feel how hard we land. Like, it was tough. Dude. Do you remember what happened after? Yeah, so remember it died after doing the burnout. And so it was like very it was barely hanging on there. And so we drove it up to the Walmart, it was right up the street. And uh we just put it in park and just throttled it. Dude, yes, I don't to the floor. Okay, okay, that was you and uh his uh our friends fucking thing. You guys were both like, "Let's just fucking push it." 
let's just push it to the limit. Let's just yeah. blow the motor. It was like, uh, okay. Yeah, so we put it and we just jammed that bitch in park at a complete stop and put the fucking pedal to the floor and just held it there. And that motherfucker went for like five minutes straight. It started smoking, but it wouldn't die. No. It just would not it kept fucking, fucking die. Going. I know, it just wouldn't die. Nice and so picture. we finally... That's pretty much what it was. <laughs> yeah, right? Dukes of Hazard, fucking in the air. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we just held it down and it smoked and it died. And then it started right back up. And so we were like, all right, fuck it. Like, we got to at least get it home. And I remember I was the one that they made me fucking drive it. Yeah. And so I remember going through uh, the biggest intersection here in town. And it fucking died. We all had to fu- The only... Yeah. But after he had to drive one the person had to drive car? the follow car, but there was like four of us fucking pushing the car. And I remember you dropped like your your phone or your AirPods. Oh, it, it was, was my AirPods. And you were like, we fuck. were going. You were like, fuck, fuck. And you had to go back. <laughs> and you were just picking I up ran AirPods back. and shit. I ran back, grabbed them, and came back, and the car was still rolling. Like, <laughs> and we got it into it was a uh, McDonald's. Fast food. Yeah, McDonald's parking lot, and then uh. What did we do with it? At? Oh, we towed it home. Well, yeah, we flat towed it home, and we that just was to- a sketchy idea. Yeah, we tow strapped, tow strapped to tow strap, and just pulled it home, and it wasn't very far. It wasn't very far at all, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but uh, once we got it home, we had a bunch of other people come over, and there were probably well, how many people would you say? Like at um, least fifteen. Okay, sorry, give me a second. Yeah, go ahead and think about it, cause like I'm pretty sure it was like anywhere between fifteen and twenty, like you maybe even a little over twenty. Four, about four, about fourteen, fifteen people we had in our house. Okay, so there was four, we got the car home, and then we had people come over. We all started drinking, having a good time, and there was about fourteen, fifteen people over over at the house. We were overage, by the way. We were overage, absolutely, and. uh we decided that the car had not taken enough of a beating. And yeah. so we had like 14, 15 people outside hitting the fucking car with hammers, keying the car. We had the baseball bat too. Hitting it with the baseball bat, hitting it with hammers, hitting it with anything, bro. Literally everything short of shattering the glass. And we just beat the fucking crap out of the car, bro. And uh, oh, man. we did that Good for times. like 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden the cops started rolling up. Oh, my God. That's right. Somebody called the Somebody fucking cops. Somebody called the cops on us f- for beating up the car that we owned. How? Oh, heavens. Oh, my. Who would do that to us? <laughs> Gee, Willie. Oh, Gee, my Gee, Willikers, Batman. <laughs> oh, oh, but me? Why would you call the cops on me? Right. So the 15 people beating the crap out of a car. I get it, but I don't get it at the same time because I was the one driving it. Yeah. But anyway, mind your own the fucking business, the- yeah, officers. Yeah, right. Mind your own business. Like it's whatever. Anyway, the cops roll up. We notice the cops are there, so half of us scatter and yeah. start running in different directions, and the other half of us. So there was. I mean, I think there was what like anywhere between six to ten people. That came into the house. Yeah, everybody just ran into the fucking house. Right, like five people booked it different, all different ways, and then ten people just followed us into their house. And so we're over here hiding, like a fat crowd of people upstairs in our uh, upstairs in the a bedroom up there, and we like all are hiding up there. And then we come down, peek down, and the cops are looking at us through the window. Dude, I re- <laughs> yeah, I remember that it was it was you. Uh, our friend and I, we both, we all three of us came down to the window because like, oh, oh, okay, maybe the cops are just driving by. Right. And right when we get down, all we hear is a, and they're looking at us through fuck! the window. We just see a flashlight <laughs> go in. Ask for all three of us. Yeah. And we're like, fuck, man. And can I tell you something? So, so when we went out there and talked to so, the cops because they separated us. Oh yeah. They separated oh, us yeah. where it was me, our friend, and you. I got the nice cop for the first time ever I got, in my life. I got the dick cop. Yeah. The cop was a complete dick to me. And listen, this is what the funny part is. So right before this, we were also smoking a blunt, I'm pretty sure. And it, we uh, he he rolled it outside. Right. So 
uh, I put the weed in my pocket, and I guess I never took it out. <laughs> all right, never took the weed out. And oh, no. all I remember is right when I'm getting to the officer, and like I said, I have the officer that's a complete fucking asshole. <laughs> I feel in my pocket, and I feel like four nugs, and I'm like, oh. Oh, no. Oh, shit. So you're the one dealing with the dick cop, and you are and you just realized that you had weed in your pocket. So the whole entire time I'm talking to this dude, I have my hands in my pocket. Just holding that weed, bro. <laughs> trying to <laughs> the mask I'm, the smell. I'm giving him some dumbass questions. He's like, what were you doing tonight? I don't know. I don't know. Hanging He's out. Like, Who are you Shit, with? Well, not you. them, that's for sure. <laughs> we. I just got here. I, I don't know what you mean. Hunt, Hunter. Dude, <laughs> when I tell you back, back then... I, could, I, I just could have got arrested if he's just like, what's that smell? Boom, I'm Shh. gone. You don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea. Shh. You don't smell nothing. Shh. Shh. You don't know. Yeah, dude, surprisingly, you got the nice cop for I once. I know. That's the first and only time I've ever had a nice cop. Now, he pulled me aside. He was like, look, man, I don't want any trouble here. I just I just want to know what's going on. Can you just Can you just tell me what's going on? And I'm like... Yeah, no problem. We bought a car, we beat it up, we threw it around, and we were beating it up. And you guys pulled up, so we all decided to stop. Yeah. And he was like, cool, that's good, that's good. What did your cop say to you? Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, I'm talking to this dude, he's like, what were you guys doing tonight? And, and uh, I'm, I'm too much in, in a good mood right now to be like kind of like mean. Right. But he was like, what are you guys doing tonight? I was like, um... And I'm going to tell you, because he was a dick to me, of course I was a dick to him. Absolutely. And All due respect to them, unless they're a dick to you. And it sucks, because why was I a dick to him? I had fucking narcotics in my pocket. <laughs> in the wrong word, he could have fucking arrested my yeah. ass. So, he's just like, what are you guys doing tonight? I was like, I don't know. Not, <laughs> like, nothing. Right, no, not he's much. He's like, you guys know why we're here? It's like, no, actually, I don't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I have no clue. Why don't you know? We got a me. noise complaint, blah, blah, blah. I remember hitting him with, like, how is that m my problem? <laughs> <laughs> he said, how is this my issue? <laughs> I wasn't involved. Because you guys even told the other cops that. Yeah. We kept you out of it. Yeah. I tried to keep everybody out of it and yeah, take the it was, blame. You guys but. tried to only take it for YouTube, but the only reason I was out there is because the cops saw me. So Right. He said, hey, you too. I was just giving short answers like that. He was just asking. He got fed up with me at the end. Oh, I'm sure. So it just walked away. I was able to go back inside. You guys had to deal with the cops for, uh, cause we didn't, didn't my cop come over to, tr didn't he come over to our friend too? After I got sent back in. Yeah. So basically how the, how that all ended was we bought the car and then beat the crap out of it in the same day. Yeah. So we never registered it. And so when the cops ran the VIN, it wasn't registered to any of us. Oh. Yeah. So you, we told okay. them that you weren't involved, and that's why you got to leave. But me and our, our friend had to sit there and go off about how we bought the car. We literally spent money on it today. And then we had to call the original owner. Oh, yeah. I remember yep. that. Uh-huh. And the, yeah, the original owner was a dick about it and said that they could have put him in jail for it and they could have put us both in jail for it and it was very wow. very annoying but uh moral of the story is is we had a fucking blast oh uh hey everybody uh we would want to thank everyone for listening today and uh we just want to let everybody be sure to follow us on twitter at the rnw podcast 420 <laughs> and on Instagram at the RNW Podcast. And don't miss our episodes on YouTube at the RNW Podcast as well. And again, that is at RNW Podcast about everywhere, including TikTok, yes, YouTube, sir. Twitter, Instagram. So, everybody, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next week. Yep. Peace. See you guys. Peace. Thank you.